Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome to a very exciting video. Obviously the title is pretty much a giveaway, but I this week had a chance to go hands-on with Cyberpunk 2077. I still stayed at home, everything is socially distanced, but thanks to the awesome people over at CD Projekt Red, I had a chance to play remotely, check out the game, and I got to play for about four hours from the very beginning of the game. I had pretty much freedom to do essentially whatever I wanted to do. I largely speaking followed the story, but I did some exploration, I explored the world. I was wasn't able to record my own gameplay, but CD Projekt Red have also provided some nice B-roll, which you're seeing running in the background, so you can at least get a look at the game, see how visually impressive it is. This is also in 4K, by the way, so if you guys want to uh, turn it up, then click that cog in the bottom right corner and switch that over to 4K. But in this video, I want to talk about my impressions. I want to talk about what I got to do in the hands-on, since it's slightly different from what you're seeing in the background. I want to talk about some of the stuff that I really enjoyed. Obviously, again, keep in mind, I only got to play for four hours. I haven't played the whole game. I don't know what the entire game is like so you know I can talk about my initial experiences which were super positive honestly I am incredibly excited for this game and what I got to play did not disappoint in the slightest but of course if you're looking for a more extended like hey how is this game honestly I don't know beyond the four hours I played anyway with that being said, if you guys do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer whatever I can. I plan to do some more follow-up videos kind of talking about specific aspects of the game too. So if there are things that you really want to know more about, I'll see if I can, uh, you know, spin up some videos on those as well. So if you're excited for Cyberpunk, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stick around. But let's start at the top. So I got to play from the very beginning of the game. That also meant I got to create my character. And character creation, I mean... I didn't spend too much on this, normally I would. I didn't spend too much on this because obviously I was playing in a demo so I didn't want to spend ages and ages, but there are tons of options. I mean, you can get lost in it. The most important thing for uh, my fellow bearded fans, they have good beards. It's not just a short goatee, they have good sizable beards, which is fantastic, I'm very happy about. I was actually able to make myself a bald bearded guy in game, which is great, but you have loads and loads of character creation options, things to tweak eyebrows and eyes and face and nose and mouth and all those different things yes there is also the genitalia slider all that kind of stuff if you want to do that i didn't play around with that too much because honestly i'm going to get into the game but there's a lot of stuff you can tweak all of that but also when you are creating your character you get to choose your backstory rather interestingly this will influence how you begin the game while obviously the core narrative throughout the game is going to be you know the same for everyone you will have different things based on your backstory. So, you know, when you choose this, you have the choice between Nomad, Street Kid, and Corpo. Nomad is basically life on the road, bottom of the pile kind of thing, roaming the city, looting things like scrapyard, that kind of stuff. And they are built on honesty, integrity, that's kind of super important to them. So while they might be at the bottom of the kind of economic pile, they are definitely honest folk. You then have the Street Kids, who are, you know, gangs, firearms, they grew up on the streets, that kind of stuff, having the street awareness. And you, of course, have the Corpos, who are the rich people, exploited the streets, weaponizing information they don't believe in fair game they basically just believe in winning you know winners and losers that's all that really matters so they are your three choices and depending on what you choose i played as a street kid to begin with so my first beginning i actually started off in a bar had a broken nose because i got into a fight and i then had to the very first thing i had to do was basically reset my nose and then go up and speak to someone else meanwhile the gameplay you're seeing in the background this is actually starting as a nomad so i haven't had a chance to see what the corpo start is just yet but that is pretty exciting. Obviously, once you then go past the initial beginning bit and you then get into the kind of prologue stuff, that is the same for everyone, but there will be parts of the game that will, of course, influence depending on your choice. So this is definitely going to lend itself to multiple playthroughs if you really want to experience every aspect the game has to offer. Also, when you're building your character, you have loads of character stats. Again, I'm not going to go into this in too much detail right now because I plan to do this in like a future video, but basically it's split down into things like body, intelligence, reflexes, tech, and cool. Body is like health, stamina, grapple duration, skill with powerful weapons, basically makes you big and strong. Intelligence is your ability to like solve problems, good for like quick hacking, that kind of stuff. Reflexes is good for speed, agility, reaction time, basically your evasive movements. Tech influences how much of a tech specialist you are, so it affects your armor, crafting, and your effectiveness against mechanical enemies. And cool is basically how you hold up in dicey situations, and it also helps with your stealth. You also have street cred as well, which is not something you spend points in, but it's something you accrue 
over time by doing activities and this will then unlock your ability to like buy things later on in the game you know you'll go to some shops where you need x amount of street cred so you'll have to accrue this as you go so you can spec your points into there however you see when you begin i built a big and strong character like a gym bro so i put a ton of stuff into body i put a little bit of stuff into tech and a few things into cool and that's basically where i went then as you're playing throughout the game as you progress as you do missions kill enemies kind of complete activities you will accrue xp and you then have the ability to spend your points in a couple of different ways you'll spend top level in the main character stats i just spoke about and you'll then dive deeper into actual abilities in the trees and there are lots of these this was when you jump into an event and you don't really have the chance or the kind of time to sit down too much and read through everything the ability trees are pretty overwhelming in a good way i mean you open it up and you take something like body and you'll go into it and there'll be three different tabs depending on whether you want to focus on melee combat or guns or other stuff like that and then amidst that you'll spend points it branches out into wider trees i mean off the top of my head i feel like there's a good sort of 20 odd choices on each of those pages spread that across you know two to three sections per character stat and then obviously you've got all the six different character stats you've got a lot of things to spend your points in so when it comes to customizing your character i don't think you'll be able to unlock all of that so you'll obviously need to choose but uh yeah there's there's a lot of stuff in there you know some of it is like more subtle stuff some of it's like percentage increases for for damage on your weapons but some of it actually gives you different abilities that's where you get abilities to you know increase stealth or like throw knives or i don't know kind of take people down in different ways take people like down from like jump attacks and different things like that so it's not all just stat based stuff some of it will actually lead to important abilities and then at the bottom of each of those trees there seems to be some kind of you know big core ability that spends a lot of points anyway I'll go into that in more detail at a later date with some of the notes that I made whilst I was playing, but for the time being, safe to say, customization front, there's a lot. There's a lot of visual customization, cool clothes, cool stuff like that, stuff for your character, and a lot of spec-based customization, so you're definitely going to enjoy it. But what about the game itself? Because the game is... Whew, it is fantastic. Honestly, I know a lot of us have been like super looking forward to it. I know, again, it's been like delayed recently, so you know we have to wait a little bit longer, but honestly... I, I don't mind waiting longer because this is going to be a great game. Like this is this is a huge world. I only got to explore one area of the map, so I couldn't necessarily go to everywhere. But I had a quick sort of like zoom out and scan out, and the map seemed to go pretty far. Like a lot of it was covered under like a fog of war sort of thing, so I don't necessarily know or I couldn't necessarily see the entire map boundaries. But it looks pretty big, and for a big world, I mean, you know, CD Projekt Red are great at doing this, but. The world feels so alive, like you're walking through the city and people are having conversations, you can walk up and talk to random people, there's stuff going on, sometimes you'll be going around and there's like beef between street gangs and there are fights going on and people are just, you know, there's things you can get involved in and there are always activities in the map, like you open it up and you've got small things like mini side quests, you can go somewhere, take someone out and then, you know, you get some rewards, but some of them, I didn't get a chance to do these ones right now, but speaking to one of the developers, they said that some of these side quests will actually go out into full branching stories where, you know, you'll get like a lot of dialogue, a lot of kind of backstory for something, so it's going to be worth your time doing the side quests. There are small things like you need to sneak into areas and take items or collect items. There's like brawls on the streets. There's loads of things. Like I opened the map and it was pretty daunting. Like considering it was quite early, I'd literally just jumped in the game. There was already so much stuff to do. Some of it much higher than my level because when you look at activities in the map, it'll say, hey, this is, uh, you know, recommended for level nine. And I was only like level two. And you can obviously go in there and try it if you want. But you tend to get steamrolled a little bit and on that front like when it comes to gameplay gameplay is really good now i didn't get to experience the high level stuff if you guys remember the very first gameplay that cd project red released from the first e3 demo they basically specced out a character with effectively everything you can have like arm blades and the ability to like jump and tape all down in crazy stealth and fire like curving bullets and stuff i didn't get all of that i had like a very basic character so there wasn't too much i could do in terms of flashy stuff but I can stealth around, take people out quietly, shoot people, all that kind of stuff like that. Gun handling feels really good. I will say the build that I was playing, I don't think, you know, we had to play with a controller. We weren't allowed to play with mouse and keyboard. I don't think there was auto aim on the controller because, I mean, I might not be the best name in the world, but it was a little bit tricky to aim with the controller. So I think that's often the way with like an earlier development build. Keep in mind the build I played wasn't final. They are still doing fixes and things are still being fine tuned. And they said that auto aim is being, you know, fine tuned for that build. So that's probably why there wasn't necessarily the typical kind of snap you get when you're playing with a controller. But that aside, you know, when I managed to get my aim right, guns feel really good. I didn't get too many, but I did get a chance to pick up, say, three or four different weapons. I defeated one of the kind of early game quest bosses it's not really a boss but like one of the main kind of notable characters 
He dropped a pretty cool weapon, which while all my weapons were pistols, they all felt noticeably different, which was nice. The loot also comes in different rarities, so, you know, I don't know what the actual rarity tiers are in this game, but I started off with a grey and a green weapon, then I saw some purples, I saw like some golds, you know, I assume it follows a typical kind of structure, so the gold was probably pretty uh, pretty unique, pretty special, but that felt awesome to use, and, uh, you know, you can also upgrade things like that later on, you can mod weapons, you can craft things, so uh, there's a lot of stuff to do on that front. Also, when it comes to like upgrading your character further, later on when you kind of go to Ripper Docks and you get to like augment your body, that's another whole layer of things. Like imagine a chart where, imagine like a human anatomy diagram. I'm kind of trying to describe this to you guys because obviously I couldn't record and couldn't show you, but imagine a human anatomy diagram that you would get in like a science class. That's like one of the UI things and then there are little lines linking to all different things like your eyes and your head and your fingers and your legs. And these are all places where you can put implants into your body to then enhance you. So that's where you can get things like the arm blades and like the kind of crazy eyes and things like that. And there's a lot of stuff to do on that front as well. So there are layers upon layers upon layers of customization, which again is awesome barely barely scratch the surface with that because you know normally when if i'm playing this organically myself and i've got the game in my house i would just sit and read things like that for ages and hover over stuff i was trying to do that here but i was also mindful that i only had four hours so i didn't want to spend ages just reading through everything so uh yeah a lot of stuff to go through but obviously dialing back again to the world itself the world visually this game is stunning i got to see night city it was busy, it's bustling, there's loads of stuff going on, all the different areas where you've got the mixture of like futuristic modern looking buildings with heavy Japanese influence in some of the kind of neon signs and stuff, that was very, very cool. That also makes me want to explore the rest of it because, you know, we have seen snippets of other areas, you saw some of the gameplay at the beginning that did start on like, you know, the, the outskirts of the city, the more kind of deserty looking area, but I also want to go over to the Corpo area where it's going to be like nice and clean and, you know, Neo Tokyo, that kind of futuristic look because that's, uh, that's going to look awesome. So, you know, the different kind of contrast between all these areas that I can't wait to experience. Obviously didn't get to see that myself, but yeah, that was uh, that was nice. And then obviously driving, driving felt great as well. You drive in third person, keep in mind the game is in first person, but you can also drive in first if you want. Car handling was awesome. You know, you can summon your car whenever you want to. If you're around the map and you just need to kind of get somewhere, you can just press, I think it's right or down the D-pad, one of those ones, I think it's right. And then your car will just come to you and you know, you need to wait a little bit, but it'll come to you and you can then just zip around and wherever you, you know, wherever you want to go. So that like initially, I mean, as I can, initial stuff. I, I plan, as mentioned, to do some more structured videos and talk about specific systems and stuff. But initially, based on very first impressions, I am very excited for this game. And I appreciate whatever it's kind of hands-on stuff, you know, people might be like, what did you not like? And honestly, early on, I don't really have any gripes right now because when you play for such a short period of time, you don't necessarily get too exposed to the stuff you don't like. It's more of a kind of like adrenaline rush where it's like, oh, I've been waiting to play this game for years. I finally play it for four hours and everything is just like a kid walking into a candy shop, right? Everything you're just in awe, you're like, the city's cool, the weapons are cool, the upgrades are cool, everything like that. So I would definitely say my, you know, my only one kind of gripe from my hands-on time was the sort of gun handling because it didn't feel like there was also aiming. I was playing with controller, so aiming was kind of hard when I got into some of the... I did try to do some of the tougher activities that I was ever so slightly too low level for, and I kept on sort of, you know, basically losing my gun encounters because the aiming felt a bit weird and floaty. But that again, that, I think that's basically because the auto aim for controller hadn't been fine-tuned, so I don't really think that's a, a thing to worry about. They're obviously going to have that dealt with, and personally, I plan to play this on PC with mouse and keyboard anyway. But yeah, I think the game is great from what I've played. I really enjoy it. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to explore the game. There's going to be a lot of stuff in this to uncover, to unpack, and I definitely can see myself playing through it multiple times. I don't do multiple playthroughs in a lot of games, but the prospect of having different story angles based on your background kind of makes me want to go and experience it at least kind of a couple of different ways. So uh, yeah, there's uh, it's good to be excited. That's it. That's all I've got to say. Again, any questions you guys might have, drop them down below. But for the time being, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and keep it locked for plenty more. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arex Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.